From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Adam Heyman with your morning headlines this Friday. Happening today, a woman accused in a deadly stabbing will appear in court. This is Christy Geary. She was arrested earlier this week in connection with the death of Ashley Yarborough. Police say Geary stabbed Yarborough and Neely's Ben Condos in Madison. She now faces criminal homicide charges related to this. Her hearing will begin today around a nine around 9 a.m. National Electric and Metro Water. They're working to make sure furloughed workers get the help they need. NES says they will extend their bill payment deadline for 30 days and Metro Water will not charge any late fees or disconnect service for non-payment. Mayor Briley released a statement supporting that move, <clears throat> saying families shouldn't have to worry about keeping lights on or having water over what he calls the unnecessary shutdown. Radnor Lake State Park is recognized as one of the best in the state. It is now earned the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation's 2018 Excellence in Resource Management Award. Radnor Lake Park restored grasslands, recycled wastewater, and has acquired new land to protect. The park has helped ground nesting birds and butterflies like the monarch butterfly and helped those populations thrive. Now let's well, Adam, we're going to see decrease in clouds this morning. That will lead to plenty of sunshine in the afternoon, but it will be deceiving because temperatures will be very cold, generally staying below freezing through the afternoon. A high today right around 31. Overnight tonight, more clouds on the increase. We could see a few flurries overnight and early Saturday morning. 24 for an overnight low. Our weekend is looking a touch warmer. Temperatures will be in the 40s, mostly cloudy on Saturday with a chance to see a few light snow showers early on Sunday morning. I'm meteorologist Heather Mathis. Have a great rest of your day.